so in today's class we will discuss what are reports and uh, what is the use of reports how can you build your own report and how to check ariba for the existing reports um so mostly this you would construct reports only when ariba went live with your client otherwise most of the times uh this this step will not come you know before implementation or during implementation or something like that so you can just go to manage here you will see something called personal workspace prepackaged reports so let me first go to the prepackaged reports so in prepackaged reports you would see reports regarding the different aspects of you know let's say for example let me go to supplier life cycle report so supplier life cycle report is here you would see report mostly related to supplier registration request process and all of that so who is the owner the owner is ariba so just remember this for now so let me click on maybe open supplier request like click on open yeah so this here you see you are seeing a table over here so in this table you are you know you can see who is the owner what is the project when it started and all of that so let's say your business or someone your managers or whomsoever wants to know how many requests are open you know they would just come here they would just export the report and this report can be you know we can let's have a look at those reports so if you see the report now you have an overview okay so these are the supplier request with got started and this is this is the date which started are they self registered or not so these kind of things you can get it from the report but here you can see a lot of conditions request status owner dot username so what are these conditions how are they created so this and all we will discuss now let me close this completely let me come out ha huh. so here if i just come back so now you understood what are prepackaged reports prepackaged reports are nothing but these are the reports which are already built by ariba for you to just go and download it for for the purpose you have okay so now let me come out and here let me come to manage and there is something called personal workspace so when i go to personal workspace let me go to actions and here you can see analytical report analytical let me construct an analytical report analytical report report um let me just say report supplier process okay you just want to understand so before you construct a report it is very important for you to know what is the business process that you are trying to reflect also remember while you construct the report you have you need to know one basic concept called facts so what are facts facts are nothing but you know these are like uh, the different let's say maybe let me give an example to you as a rubik's cube in rubik's cube what do you have you have length you have breadth you have height so simple way if there is a rubik's cube and in that rubik's cube you want to identify one small square you would what do you do you first identify what is the what is the x axis then what do you identify you identify what is there on the y axis then you identify what is there on z axis then you somewhere go and figure out that cube so similar way we have one axis as main fact one axis as second fact and the other axis as third fact okay let i want to create i want to know the approval history approval history of okay okay there are no further facts under it okay maybe let me choose a catalog okay the main problem over here while you construct this uh, table is you need to identify what are the sub, sub facts under it so this data you can anyways you know get from the documentation so what i am trying to do i am trying to identify um the approval history for a certain approval what would be the contract 
so this this is the main fact you can change it based on your requirements and all of that so you will see here different measures measures are nothing but the numerical um, entity that you can extract so what do you, what do i mean by this for a contract contract can have amount invoiced amount accumulated what is the amount left in the contract so this is a numerical value associated with it whatever you see are the pre-configured values uh, you can construct your own measure as well so depend on your requirements so here you can create a user defined field and you can create a different measures around it this is a very um, in-depth concept you don't need to get much into it but if i just come aside and what what am i trying to do here i am just so here you if you observe we don't have okay let me come back and click on next okay so it just go up you must at least select one data field okay fine so when i come here i can choose a data field so I, I when I just came here, just clicked on next here, you see a lot of detailed fields. Maybe just I can just I'm just placing something as a row, something as a column, what should be the page field. If you're aware, if you're aware of pivot table, how to create a pivot table. And this is how, you know, uh, you just construct what should be there on the rows, what am I doing with respect to columns and page. Just keep Rubik's Cube in your mind and try to see construct this um, report uh, you can understand so here we have a relative date range by default it will be set uh, you know as one month and you can just change it based on your requirement and I just save it so when I save it it will ask me for a name I just said report supplier process and here you where do you want to place it I would just say I want to place it in the public reports I want because everyone else to uh, access it maybe I just save click on save and that's it so this is how you create a report by yourself in Ariba